Presiding Officer, Scotland's incoming First Minister has been left with an overflowing entry to deal with. Our country is in the grip of two devastating crises, an NHS crisis brought about by the current SNP administration's failure to prepare, and a cost of living crisis created in Downing Street with rising bills, higher food costs and rampant inflation. Our next First Minister must urgently prioritise these challenges. The people of Scotland will expect nothing less. And they will not forgive a First Minister who chooses instead to focus on their own priorities. I pledge to always put the people's priorities first. Because following Nicola Sturgeon's long period in office, we need a First Minister for all of Scotland, not just a First Minister for half the country. As someone once said, more of the same is an acceptance of mediocrity. Continuity won't cut it. The conclusion of the bitter SNP leadership contest does not bring an end to the division and incompetence that has been on display in recent weeks. And when we look at that entry awaiting in Butte House, it is clear that we need a First Minister without the distractions of a broken political party behind them and without the culture of secrecy and cover-up which has been the hallmark of 16 years of SNP government. A regime that has left us with record a &E waiting times, with one in seven Scots on an NHS waiting list, record drug deaths, record vacancies for nurses and doctors in our NHS, record levels of homelessness, an entrenched attainment gap, falling business numbers, the ferry scandal, broken promises on green jobs, devastating cuts to councils. And only last week, the damning verdict on child poverty in the Scottish Government's own report. Little recent change. We need change. People across our country are crying out for the answers to the real issues that they are facing. Our task is to show that Scotland can have a better, more exciting and more prosperous future if we unleash our country's potential. A better future for Scotland starts with a plan. A plan to unlock the extraordinary talents and innovation of the Scottish people. A plan where we create more highly paid jobs, high tech industries and more chances to reskill so that working people in Scotland are better off. A Scotland where our public services are once again the envy of the world. Scotland is crying out for change, but a new for SNP First Minister isn't going to be enough. Scotland needs something different than a continuity candidate. After years of failure under this SNP administration, we need a First Minister who truly believes in the extraordinary potential of the Scottish people. Because I know our country can do so much better. But we need a First Minister with the political will, the belief in our people and our nation, and the driving ambition to deliver the change Scotland needs. A First Minister with the determination to save our NHS by increasing capacity in a &E's, providing better NHS 24 support, freeing up beds and valuing our, our NHS staff by improving working conditions. A First Minister willing to listen to the worries of people and businesses across Scotland as they struggle with the cost of living crisis and who is prepared to take action to help. A First Minister who recognises that being green isn't about propping up a failed government in return for ministerial jobs, but is actually about delivering actual green jobs and putting Scotland at the heart of the UK's renewable revolution. It's about having a plan that delivers economic growth and innovation, encourages good business and supports employees. It's about fulfilling the promise of home ownership that has been dashed for far too many in Scotland. And it's about refusing to accept the little recent change is good enough when it comes to tackling poverty, but instead makes it the defining mission of the Office of First Minister. Now, I know everyone in this chamber has made up their mind, and it isn't open to persuasion. But I'm more interested in winning the debate in the country than in this chamber. Because people across this country deserve better than a government focused on their own priorities rather than yours. So my promise to those watching across Scotland I will work day and night to earn your trust and to win your support. Because this isn't as good as it gets. Change is possible, and I am determined that the Scottish Labour Party I lead will deliver the change Scotland needs. Thank you.